the latte, the king of the coffee house, the most popular drink. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Shop Vibes. Welcome to East Biari Coffee House. This is a show that helps enhance your specialty coffee shop experience. Today, we're gonna to talk about really the most popular drink in a specialty coffee house, the latte. You might think you know it all about the latte, but I know personally, right? Not everybody knows what a latte is and does it differ from coffee house to coffee house. So I'm gonna dive into the details, the history of the latte. Welcome to the program. First off, uh, back a little bit about my backstory for those of you who don't know. Of course, uh, my wife and I, we fell in love with the nuances, the vibes of coffee houses. Uh, that led us to create East Biari Coffee. And then at the start of the pandemic, we took an abandoned storefront in uh, our small Western Pennsylvania town and turned it into East Biari Coffee House. Uh, we continue to innovate and uh, we try coffees from around the country. We've actually had coffees uh, from specialty coffee shops in every state in America. We always try to be innovative and stay on top of what's going on in the industry. So again, welcome to the program. This is Coffee Shop Vibes. Today, I'm gonna break down the latte. So a little bit about the origins of a latte. Well, the drink certainly originated in Italy, but people have been putting milk and coffee together long before the advent of the espresso machine in the early 1900s. Anyway, the drink, even though it originated in Italy, was actually made popular, you probably know this, in Seattle, uh, cafes in Seattle in the 80s, started making what we know as the traditional latte. Now it is a staple in every co coffee house uh, and even Starbucks is very um, very much at the forefront of promoting the latte as that business group. So the modern American latte that we know is a milk heavy drink and it's made different at different places but most specialty coffee houses are going to make it this way. Now a latte is always going to have two shots of espresso uh, especially coffee house, you might not get a flavor, just espresso. Now, the biggest difference, I think, from where you go, especially if you go to a chain place, a uh, shop like a Dunkin' or a Starbucks that wouldn't be considered specialty coffee, is probably how the milk is frothed and the quality of the frothing of the milk. Now, a true, true latte, letter of the law, by the book, you want to have steam milk, which is the fine layer of kind of that milk froth that you can do the latte art on to give you that savory finish. All right, so here you have it. A latte and in its truest sense it is a very very simple drink it's always two shots of espresso i've never been to a specialty coffee house that doesn't make their base latte with two shots of espresso the amount of milk can vary between really from uh, a 10 ounce drink to 16 ounce drink now some places will serve them with more milk but in most cases once you go over 16 ounces you're going to add a third shot a lot of people will add a third shot to their regular latte, so it will be, you know, a 16 ounce drink with three shots of espresso. But this is very important when it comes to lattes. It always, and especially coffee house, will have two shots as the base drink. People, you know, of course, will always ask for more uh, espresso. But if you go to some places, uh, maybe not uh, a well-known or established coffee house or uh, a lot of places, maybe if you're at a coffee bar somewhere at a convention center uh, or at a roadside, uh, one of these coffee trailers or something along those lines, a lot of times they do not use espresso because they might not have an espresso machine or might not be able to have the power source to produce espresso. They'll either make it with frozen espresso shots or some form of uh, frozen cold brew or just very, very concentrated cold brew. Um, but it's not true, in my opinion, a true latte. Uh, because it's it's lacking kind of the, the hot espresso shots. Now, an iced latte, again, two shots of espresso in just cold milk. Typically, people add flavors to lattes. Uh, vanilla latte, caramel latte, our most popular one is the summer latte. But long story short, uh, it is by far the most popular drink. It outsells coffee by a multiple here at the coffee house. It is the most popular drink, the most in-demand drink. And typically, purists drink it like this, simply two shots of espresso and around 10 ounces of steamed milk. Beyond that, um, you can add virtually every flavor in the world. We have cinnamon, maple cinnamon latte. Lavender latte is very popular right now. Rose lattes we make at the coffee house. But typically, you'll add a flavor to it. But if you go into a specialty coffee house, it's going to have two shots. It is 
what some people call a large cappuccino. Because people come in here, the other big mistake people say, when a large cappuccino, there is no such thing. A large, uh, regular cappuccino is gonna be six ounces, six, eight ounces, uh, with one shot of espresso, and a latte is gonna be, again, two shots of espresso around 16 ounces. So it is a large cappuccino, as some people might say. But it is the most popular drink in coffee, the latte. And of course it's delicious, especially in the morning. It is a morning, morning drink, as they say. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the program. That's hopefully you understand. If you have any questions, feel free to, um, to let me know. Again, if you're some, at some place that they might, you might not see an espresso machine, then chances are you might not be getting shots of espresso in your latte. You might be getting a very concentrated mix of coffee or some, something along those lines. So, you know, be cautious of that, or at least be aware of that. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon on another edition of Coffee Shop Vibes.